this mod here is uh, just uh, it's a hidden thing that you you would see with, by pressing control N or control B uh, basically it's a sus suspended beam that uh, once you press the gas it breaks the beam and creates the particle so the name of the mod is uh, just pipe so that's it's just what I named it like I said you just spawn it and press gas now if you want to edit the particles the particle numbers that you would edit to edit those would be particle number 30 and 29 um, those are the ones that are being used and that is in the mod folder so if you want to edit it, edit anything I would say just I'll I'll zip this mod up um, I'll pack it as a mod though but you'll want to unpack it to work on it and you see how it's in vehicles here that's exactly where you'll put put it if you want to work on it because you got to edit the or you actually you don't have to edit it. you could probably just work on it uh, zip that'll be fine it, it won't make a difference because it'll make just yeah just leave it zipped so move it into there and then pack it Uh, you don't need them blender files. Or that. All you should have to do is um, in your mod folder put this zip file I'm just pressing the gas. That's all I'm doing. If you want to edit those particles, like I said, I assigned them to particle 29 and 30. So that's 29, for example. And that's number 30. They're both fires, but you can edit them and stuff. And uh, if you do any saves, uh, be sure to save. Now, don't worry about hitting the save button on the particle. Uh, 
I don't think that actually saves anything. Uh, well, you can still try it, but what you'll want to do here is save to emitter to current level. That way, it only writes the changes to whatever level. Like we're in small grid, so if we go to small grid now in the user folder, we'll see um, that it created that. this just contains the changes that just made to that well actually I didn't change anything yet but that's where it'll save that too